Okay, I've been getting a bunch of uh, requests to show how to um, remove the uh, stock off the Cybergun Thompson M1A1 Airsoft gun. And also, there's been a couple people with problems putting it back on. So I'm just going to show real quick how to remove the stock. Then if you can't get the shorter screw back in, how to replace it. Okay, to remove the stock, well, first you're going to want to make sure that you haven't got a battery inside. And then just to be sure, make sure that the gun's on safe. Okay. Well, you'll need to uh, remove both screws using a standard uh, blade or blade or slot type screwdriver. Okay, there's the shorter screw. There's Indy. Say hi, Indy. Say hi. That's my cat. Um, then you'll also need to remove this screw. This is the long screw. Okay, now I've got both screws out, the long screw and the short screw. The stock will come off. Then you can see the uh, there's a nice little connector in there. Now the whole stock is removed. Now what you could do is make this into like a pistol. Just not use the stock. Then like rubber band the battery on there like that. Make it into a nice little CQB gun. Um, but that's not a project I'm focusing on for now. And um, at this point, you are you will be able to separate the upper and lower halves. Now you have to depress this pin at the rear of the gun. And slide back. Now, there's it gets stuck in the... Uh, screw hole for the long screw so what you can do is you can take the long screw and push it in there to depress that pin get it just right and the then it'll come apart you'll notice that as you pull it apart the fake bolt comes off with it okay now you've got the gun disassembled into two halves um now inside you can see that there's a piece of metal it's uh, zinc actually and that's what the small screw screws into from the uh, through the stock now I've got mine glued in place but as these come stock those aren't glued in place and when you take the small screw out this usually falls out of place so what I do is just stick some glue on it smash it back in there wait for the glue to dry and uh, then you can reassemble it so what you'll have to do to reassemble it is pull the bolt face back, line it up right, then sometimes it's a little hard to get it back together, but there it goes. Now it's slid all the way forward. Now yours might get, um, oops, I caught the blanket. There we go blanket was caught inside. Sometimes uh, that uh, that will get stuck in the, the hole for the longer screw so you might need to use the longer screw to depress it so you can slide it all the way back together. Okay now you go and you take the uh, wires there, reconnect the wires. Now what I do is it makes it easier is open up the rear stock like if you were going to put a battery in then pull the wires just to keep them out of the way make it a bit easier to put the gun back together okay now I've got the two halves together 
can go and put the long screw in. Then you go and take then put the short screw in. Now in case you forgot, the long screw goes at the back, and the short screw goes up front there. And then tighten that up. Now if you've waited long enough, that uh, zinc part should stay in place. That zinc T. Now that both screws are connected, just go and stick your wiring back in the gun. Close up the butt plate, you're ready to go.